Welcome to Fresh Start. Today, I am going to talk to you about morning. I love coffee and I also love frappes. I don't know how many of you love a nice coffee frappe, but I certainly do. And most of the ones that are out there for sale have a lot of stuff in there that we don't need that's really bad for us and could cause a lot of problems later down the road. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a three ingredient coffee frappe. So the first thing you're gonna need is some frozen bananas. The frozen bananas, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bananas at night, you're gonna cut, peel them and then chop them in two or break them apart and put them in a little baggie overnight, let them freeze. And you're also gonna need about half a cup to three-fourths cup of almond milk and then your coffee. And this is only about half a cup. So, and it's coffee that I actually made this morning. So you're gonna put all that together and we are gonna start. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you do not wanna put your bananas in first. Because if you do, your blender will, it'll burn it up. So we're gonna do our milk first. And this may get a little loud because this is a small blender I'm using right now. So I'm only gonna put a few bananas in here. Eh, might as well do it all. <laughs> Go for it. All right, and then you're gonna pour your half a cup of coffee in. Okay, here we go. It's gonna get loud. Okay, so you can see that it is, to me, just a little thin, so I'm gonna add just a few more bananas to it. There you go, so I put two more bananas in there. Perfect. Sorry, it was so loud. Okay, and you can add sweetener in there if you want to, but the banana gives it plenty of sweetness, so. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it in my coffee cup here. Put my cup over here. And this is something I like to do, like if you're going on vacation, or I like just sitting out on the porch in the mornings with a cup of coffee, and this is something, because it's so hot outside, the summer and fall. This is something that's just, it's refreshing. You're still getting your coffee and a little bit of breakfast too because you have your banana and your milk in there. Okay, there's your three ingredients for your coffee frappe. I like to add a few chocolate chips on top. And this is carob and you can get this in any grocery store here in McMinnville. And then a fresh, or dried, sorry, unsweetened coconut flakes on top of that. And this is just stuff you can play with. You do not have to do it exactly like I do it, but the three ingredients that I did at first, make sure, you know, that kind of goes hand in hand. You can add your own special touch to it. Take pictures of it, post them on Facebook, and I gotta have a sip. Yummy, and you can make this as strong as you, you wanna make it, but you can see how pretty that is. It's beautiful. And impress your guests and your friends. I'm gonna put this over here. I just got back from vacation, and one of the things that people ask me is, Mary Beth, when you go on vacation, what do you eat? Well, it can be kind of tough at times, but we always manage, but smoothies are the easiest thing to make for breakfast. Kids love them, um, and you can have them any time of the day. So I wanted to share one of my other recipes that I love to do, and it does have pineapple in it, strawberries, coconut, and a little bit of my favorite, this is a plant protein. Plant protein means there's absolutely no animal byproducts in this, there's no whey. Whey is an animal protein that has been shown to uh, actually cause cancer. So I, we try to stay away from that. A lot of people use it for bodybuilding, but you can get too much of it. So to be on the safe side, I love just a pure plant-based protein powder. This I got here in town in McMinnville. I got it at Walgreens. So it's very reasonably priced and it is in the pharmacy. You can get any flavor. I think they have chocolate and vanilla. I prefer the vanilla strictly because I can add any flavor to it. And if I want vanilla, 
I'll have vanilla. And they even have a good recipe on top. It's an oatmeal cookie smoothie. So they give you a recipe on top where you add peanut butter and granola and chocolate chips. So you get all kinds of ideas. And again, just have fun with it and just uh, write down stuff as you go if you want to so you can share it online. I would love to see your recipes. Okay, let's get started with one I call a pina colada energy smoothie. So the first thing I'm going to do, like before, is I'm going to pour my milk in. And this is an almond milk. You do not have to use uh, almond milk. You can do a rice milk. You can do coconut, cashew. Uh, I do not use any dairy milk. So I just basically stick with a plant milk. All right, I took half a scoop out of the plant-based Vega protein powder. This uh, just helps give you a little bit more energy. It provides amino acids for you, so it, it gives you the brain food that we need. And it just, just tastes good too. So it's kind of sweet for me. And I can tell you right now, a lot of people will ask about the sugar. So there's only two grams of sugar, which is really good. Uh, diabetics can have this. It's also no cholesterol. The sodium is 190, which is not terrible. And 110 calories per serving. So I'm doing half of a serving into my smoothie just because basically the smoothie I'm making is kind of sweet. All right. And the good thing is it comes with this little scoop so you can kind of measure it out, it's easy to do. And sometimes I don't even put it in a blender, I'll just blend this with a spoon with some milk and it, it's just as good because sometimes I don't have time to put it in the blender. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm gonna add is my fruit, which I've got strawberries and pineapple. And then again, the frozen bananas. Of course, we all know that bananas are loaded with potassium. And they're just, they're so good for energy. They're even good if you have trouble sleeping. So a lot of people don't understand the energy and why is it good for sleeping, but it just restores our cells to help us relax a little bit. Or if we're on the move, it also gives us energy to help us move better. All right, the next thing, let me add a little bit more bananas. And these I didn't put as small. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk because I think I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have a brain freeze after the end of the show because of all the smoothies today. So basically this show is all about when you're on vacation, something easy to do and delicious and of course nutritious. So it's full of all of that, plus a lot of love in it. So gotta for can't forget the love. Another thing about this smoothie, you can add hemp seed, which I'm gonna to add today. Hemp seed, hemp seed is an amino acid, so it's, it's brain food, and it's full of zinc, potassium, iron, and really good for people that don't eat animal protein. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the dried coconut flakes too to give it that pina colada taste. Just a little bit though. Again, it's gonna be loud. So I can tell just by my smoothie already that it's kind of thin, so I'm gonna add more banana. And I usually do two banana per bag. So it's totally up to you. If you just wanna put one in there, that's fine, but usually it's two per bag. And if you're gonna make a pretty good sized smoothie, I would do three, because that's about what I've used for this and then that actually makes about two smoothies for you. And if you want it thicker, you can either add another banana or you can put some ice in this so it's totally up to you and you can see there's strawberries you can see some of the green in there it's kind of it's kind of pretty actually just because of the fruit you can actually see it chopped up in there put some coconut on top There you go. Let's see. I gotta have a sip of this too, so just to make sure it's good. 
Yep. It's good. All right. So, you're probably wondering about this pineapple here. I love pineapple. Pineapple, again, is so good for you. It's very refreshing. And so I found a recipe online, and actually it was a friend of mine, her name is Rachel, and she okayed me to share this recipe with you. And it's so simple and easy, and so I try to make it a little bit more simple just because if you're like me, you're in a rush, and it's hard to eat healthy when you're in a rush all the time. So you end up going to a fast food restaurant or just eating candy bars, which totally makes you feel horrible in the long run. So this pineapple, as you can see, was a whole pineapple at one time. So all I did was I cut it down the middle. You see how I did that? And then I gutted one side of it. And you, my purpose is to, you're gonna gut both. So you're gonna, you're gonna cut all the insides out and you're gonna save them. And here are my, my pineapple chunks. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one to the side. So you're gonna put your bowl Get that ready. So that is actually your serving bowl. So the cool thing about this recipe is not only do you not have to wash dishes, but you can actually eat part of the bowl. So it's a win-win situation. All right, so I have took, taken some chickpeas, and this is uh, actually two cans that I drained and rinsed really good, and put two peppers, or it's half a red pepper, half a yellow pepper, and half of an orange pepper. So I sauteed the peppers and got them kind of soft and then I put them in with my chickpeas, which have a teaspoon of the Thai Pad sauce, which you can get here in any local store. And I also used, I used about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of this. It's a cordon, it's very spicy. So you have to be really careful not to get it too spicy. Okay, so just however you like it, how much you use, just go by taste. And then I have teriyaki, which you can just, it's a gluten-free, the one that I use. So a lot of people are gluten sensitive and or have digestive issues. And so stuff that's gluten-free is really good for them. The next thing I found, the recipe she used had quinoa. And quinoa is a grain, it's a sprout. So it's really, really good for uh, people, of course, that eat no meat or dairy. It's, it's full of protein, it has amino acids. It's the healthiest grain there is. So a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it, including myself at one time. I called it quinoa, which is not how you say it. It's actually pronounced quinoa. So this I actually got at Walmart and I kind of took the shortcut instead of actually cooking quinoa because it can be time consuming. And again, this is all about, you know, getting stuff done so that you can go do what you need to do. So this you can do overnight, but this actually only takes about two minutes if you use a microwave. I don't like to use a microwave, but you can even heat this on stove top for a minute and it's, it's done. And the cost is only, it's, I think it's $3 of tax. You cannot beat that. And it says two servings, but it's actually, if you're doing this recipe today, this is about four servings actually that you can get from that one bag for this particular recipe. All right, so we're gonna put in our chickpeas. I'm gonna move this over so you can see. I don't know if you can see that really well. Go ahead and start this up. So I've already got a little olive oil in here, about a teaspoon. I'll go ahead and put these in. And I haven't done anything to them except add the peppers that I did already saute for about five minutes with a little olive oil. And I added about a dash or two of soy sauce. Here it's starting to sizzle a little bit. And you want it to simmer to where it's nice and you know the flavors are distributed evenly so that you have that real savory dish. So because this dish you'll have not just savory, but you're gonna have refreshing and sweet, which is the pineapple, and then you're gonna have hearty, which is the quinoa. So chickpeas, they're so versatile for everything. You can make them taste like fish, you can make them taste like chicken, and even pork. 
So these, this is kind of an Indian, kind of an Indian dish, but uh, but not. <laughs> so I love curry, so I did add some curry to, I added maybe half a teaspoon to the, the Thai pad. So you, when I got the chickpeas in here, or in the, just a bowl, stirring them around, I added a teaspoon of this a dash or two of teriyaki and about half a teaspoon of curry. And I mixed it up really well before I actually put it in the pan. And you can add anything you want to this. So make it your own. You do not have to stick by my guidelines. So, you know, if you like onion, throw some onion in there. If you like a green bell pepper, put a green bell pepper in there. The good thing about this is your, your friends are going to think that you've cooked all day. So just remember, this has taken me approximately 10 to 15 at the most. The biggest thing for me was the pineapple. The pineapple can be a little bit time consuming because you, it is easy to do, but once you cut down the center, you have to gut, and that to me was a little more strenuous and time consuming because it does make a little bit of a mess, but totally worth it. So if you don't like kale, or not kale, but uh, quinoa, if you don't like the quinoa, you can also do like a, a little bit of organic greens. Uh, you can add tomato in there, kind of make it a salad in a pineapple bowl. There's so many ideas you can do. You can even make it just a total fruit bowl. Like if you wanted to do fresh pineapple, well not pineapple, but fresh watermelon, cantaloupe, and even then pineapple on the end. And then add a dash, like sprinkle some cilantro and then some lime on that is amazing. All right, this is smelling so good right now. I'm gonna add a little bit of this dried coconut to this. And turn it down just a little bit on low heat. This reminds me of my vacation. We just got back last week and, you know, it was, it was hard for me to actually eat. We had one place that we did go and it was really good, but I actually got sick afterwards because I'm not used to all the preservatives and stuff that they put in our food today. So. And that's one thing I, you know, I challenge everyone to do is if you're thinking about doing this um, lifestyle, this plant-based, start easy. Don't beat yourself up and try to jump in and then get overwhelmed. So start easy. Say one day a week, do a meal like this or something, uh, a big salad loaded with quinoa and beans and corn and even fruit, strawberries, pineapple. You'd be amazed at how good that mixture is. I call it the chick. Uh, this uh, kitchen sink salad because it's li literally everything but the kitchen sink. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more of this because it's looking a little dry for me. And here's the curry. Now I already put a little bit in there, so I'm just adding just a little bit more. And that's about a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more teriyaki. Smells so good. Okay. While that's simmering, this is the kale mixture that I got out of the bag that I told you you could put in the microwave, which I'm not crazy about, but it's okay if you're just going to do this one dish. Uh, it's easier for you, or it's better for you if you actually put it just in boiling water, keep it in the bag, let the bag, you know, let it cook in the bag if you can. If not, it's, it's okay to do it the way the instructions say it's to prepare it. Okay, so we're going to start. So with this, when you do the pineapple, I have, it tends to give a lot. So you may not want to clean it out as probably as thin as I've gotten mine. So you can kind of see right there how my pineapple kind of gives. You want it to be a little bit more firm or even a smaller one. That way you can, it's just easier for the bowl. 
my eyes were hungry when I bought this, so everything's bigger. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up a little bit more. And I'm making a mess. Okay. So the taste of this with the spicy, the sweet, and the savory, just can't beat it. This is so good. This has been a pretty easy show today. I haven't had to chop anything, so it's been it's been a, it's been an easy show. Plus, everything tastes good, so I'm getting ready to have a brain freeze and a full tummy. I'm gonna make this really pretty. quinoa in there and you can chop up some cilantro and just sprinkle the top with it with a pineapple that is so pretty okay so there is your masterpiece so it's just ready to be eaten just waiting on me like that there so remember Today's show was um, the pina colada shake, which was strawberries, just a handful, and about two to three spears of pineapple, fresh pineapple, about a cup of milk, and about two and a half bananas. And you just put in a blender, and that's it. If you wanna use the protein shake for this particular, uh, or the protein powder for this particular shake, it's delicious. You don't have to. You can just strictly do everything else but without that. And then remember it was called Vega or Veja from, uh, it's at Walgreens. And I'm pretty sure that Walmart has it also. And then the coffee drink, which was the frappe, which I think is beautiful and waiting on me, is just some of your coffee that you didn't drink the morning of. And it's like half a cup of coffee, half a cup of almond milk, and, and a banana. So uh, probably about two bananas frozen. Mix that together, you're done. And then you can top with unsweetened coconut flakes that they do have at Walmart, and they are in where the um, where the pie and cake stuff is. So they're kind of kind of hard to find, but they are there. And then of course the chocolate nibs, which is a healthy chocolate with antioxidants. It's this is the good chocolate. So and Walmart also has these too, and they are in the gluten-free area. So it's kind of hard to find. You wouldn't think they would be in this area, but they're they're right there in the gluten-free area. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show today. I had so much fun showing you our little recipes that we do at home, and I hope you enjoy the pineapple. We got to come up with a name for this. I'm thinking yum yum pineapple bowl or something because it is so good and I can't wait to dig into it. So just remember it's okay if um, if you're simple as far as your food. Don't freak out if you know every little step and it doesn't taste exactly like you want. Keep working with it because you will create a masterpiece eventually. So it took me a long time to just I started throwing stuff together and so now I'm so glad that you give me the opportunity to share these recipes with you and again Thank you so much for tuning in today to Fresh Start. I want to give a shout out to Christopher, who's six years old and watches the show all the time. He dances to the music, so hey, Christopher. All right, thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time right here on BLTV Channel 6.